today we are talking about feng shui your entryway. The front door is a place that is where you greet people, where you come in and out and where everything, basically everything in your life comes in through the front door. It's how vital and important it is. And when people say to me where to start with feng shui, I always say start at the front door. It is the mouth of your home. So I'm actually going to give you a little deep dive and secret surprise behind the scenes of my own front door, my own entrance, what do I have at my entryway and some best practices there. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell and you will get notified when my video is released. I have so much information that I just cannot wait to share with you about feng shui and to help really skyrocket your life and your home to next levels that you couldn't even imagine. It is certainly a, you know, every house is very unique, but I give you some really good breakfast best practices and ideas that you can do and implement for your own feng shui. When I reflected on the video and the training, everything in it was completely unscripted. So I realized there was a few things that I didn't mention. The first one is that when you open the front door of your home, one thing we just want to avoid is a mirror facing you. So when you open up the front door, you'll get to see what I have at my front door and my entrance, but we don't recommend a mirror facing you because the mirror will reflect the energy back out. I also didn't say about the eyes. So your entrance way, your home, the windows are actually the eyes of your home. And I would highly recommend cleaning your windows, um, making sure they're clean and clear. I know my own personally need a bit of a clean now, but when we clean the windows, we're basically clearing away any of the fog from where we're going. We can see where we're going, but also we can see what is coming for us as well. So I hope you enjoy this welcome video into my own front door, my own entrance. This is part of my feng shui mini course which is a deep dive into feng shui for foundation to get get really an understanding of what it is, how it works, and actually how it can help you improve your life. Because isn't that what it's all about? Amplifying and improving your life. Um, and that's what I think and believe feng shui does and has done for so many of my clients around the world. So here we are at the entrance. This is the front door of our house. So the front door is the mouth of your home. It's where the energy comes in. It's where we want to welcome in all of that chi and good vibes. And we want to make it as inviting as possible. So first thing you're going to see here, I have some little ornaments at, at my front door, which I love. Now our homes are our homes and what we bring in and what we have in our homes. The most important thing is that it really feels good for you. So at the front door, I have like a little laughing Buddha. I also have a Ganesh, who's the remover of obstacles. These are not necessities at your front door. What is a necessity or what is important at your front door is that it looks clean, inviting, that the doorbell works, that the light works, that um, it's got a nice welcome mat. For you, if you are going to get yourself a new welcome mat, we definitely want something that makes you feel good and uplifts you and resonates with you. So it could be welcome, it could be a happy home. Um, we definitely don't want one of those ones of like, um, you know, uh, beware of the dogs or beware of scary things. You know, those kind of like sarcastic mats can really, um, create an energy that isn't that supportive when you're coming into your into your home. We want it to be like arms open, welcome, come on in. First thing I would say, make your make sure your front door is nice and easy to open and maybe clean it as well. So when you open your front door, you want your spirits to rise. You want to feel like I'm so happy to be home and also for what you see to inspire you. In this house, we are fortunate enough that when you open the front door, we do have a wall that we we can put a piece of art on. Some houses you will have different instances where the front door, you come in and you may have heard in feng shui that having the stairs facing your front door is not good feng shui or having a the back door facing the front door is not good feng shui. There's a lot of information about feng shui out there. Some of that is, is true, um, but the idea of the front door facing the back door, you can't structurally change it. So what I would say to you is, don't overthink it. 
let's focus on all the other things that you can do around your home. Start to think about, okay, well, right now I have an opportunity to do some other things. So in that front entrance, can you put a picture on the wall that makes you feel really great? As I touched on earlier, the um, front entrance is a very important space. So having things that feel abundant and not necessarily abundant, but feel um, good and uplifting for you is a great idea. So you could have a lovely family photo that feels good here. You could have an image that just is uplifting and um, beautiful and welcoming, some flowers or a plant. It's up to you. So that's our front entrance for you with your entrance. I would say to you, try and keep it clear of clutter. Make sure the door opens fully. When you come in, like if you do have a big coat rack with loads of coats on it, like clear as many out so the door can open fully so that it doesn't feel overwhelming when you come in. You want to just uh, tune in to your own energy when you open up your front door. What do you see? How do you feel? And is there any way that you could make it feel a bit brighter, lighter and happier? Go take action on everything that I've uh, shared in this video today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like it, but also um, don't forget to sign up to get the rest of the free Feng Shui mini course. There's tons of incredible content there that you're gonna absolutely love. And to inspire you a little bit more, watch and check out some of these incredible stories from my clients and those who have participated in the feng shui journey with me of the wins that they've had once they start really activating the energy of their home. Immediately after cleaning the front door, sweep, sweeping the front door and, and you know cleaning everything out there, um, I had a client just on the spot just want to, want to go ahead straight away um, with a website build. I saw that the changes in like right away last week i just got a tax refund which i totally was unexpected i had no idea of six thousand krona that's about six hundred dollars i got a government check i had no idea about i'm talking thousands of dollars here